Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're doing a collab video. I'm so excited to be a part of this. We're just having a great time with the holiday season and today's video is uh, a funny one. So if you guys didn't see the last one, this is a collab. It's a multi-channel collab and there is a giveaway involved. And the giveaway that I'm doing is a $25 gift card to Ulta. So if you want to be a part of it, stick around to find out the rules and all that other fun stuff going on. And please stick around to see this. Halloween look that I came up with today. <laughs> it will at the very least amuse the hell out of you. So with all that being said, if you haven't already, like and subscribe and let's get into today's video. So if you didn't see from the last one, we are all doing giveaways and this is a multi-channel collab. Everyone's channel is going to be listed down below and to be a part of it, you have to be subscribed to everyone's channel like the video, leave a comment letting me know that you want to be entered in the giveaway with your Instagram so I can find you. It's going to be number generated and I'm going to pick the winner at the end of the month after the collab is done. And what I'm doing in my part for this collab is that I'm doing reaction videos. So we're creating these looks and today's look is a funny look. So I'm basically going to look over on my computer and react to what I'm doing because it's pretty free reign on how we're doing the whole deal. So we're going to walk through it together and have a laugh and I'm going to try and convey to you my thought process when I was doing this. So that's that for that. That's the club. That's the giveaway. Those are the rules and all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and make with the reactions because this one, this one is something. So let's go ahead and get started. I got my computer right here and I'm going to go ahead and hit play. I'm going to leave uh, what I'm doing up somewhere here so you guys can see and I might even switch in and out so you can hear what I'm saying, this, that, and the other so we can just have this awesome experience together. So started off this video and very much like the first one, I was really excited and also kind of nervous. I had an idea in mind. I'd seen, again, a photo of something that I thought was funny and thought would be, you know, easy to do, basically. We're going to get into it. You're going to, you're going to see what happens here. So going along with my theme, I wanted to do something that was, you know, again, affordable that you could have around the house to go ahead and create this look so that it wouldn't, you know, cost too much and can get into the whole Halloween celebration and, and all that goodliness without it, you know, breaking the bank. So what I'm going to do here for a period of time is I'm going to mix up what I'm looking for to create this costume. And it, it takes a little bit of time. So I don't want to do super long videos. I want you guys to be able to go ahead and see everyone. We're going to have fun with it, but I'm going to keep it brief. I'm going to speed through this knowing that that's what I'm doing is that I'm doing some mixing right now. The mixing took a little longer than I anticipated, uh, but I did finally get what I was going for. And then I began my transformation into what I wanted to be for Halloween. Let's get into that. Oh boy. And when I did this, can I tell you, when I uploaded everything and I went into my photo deal, I didn't see this. <gasps> I didn't see this costume and for a minute there, oh, my stomach just flip flop because the idea of, <laughs> oh, let me just say, hmm, I would have been really bummed if this hadn't uploaded. I'll leave it at that for, for right now and now you can see why. You'll know at the end what I'm trying to be here. Basically, that red mixture that I created is needs to kind of go everywhere in order for this costume to, to come out the way that I want it to. So I'm, I'm blending and trying to make it happen. And I didn't think at first that I was going to have enough once I got, I think my arms and all that done. And I was working my way up to you know the face area. I was thinking, Oh, I'm gonna have to mix and match and create more of this product. But thankfully there was more than enough. And when I say there was more than enough, there was more than enough. So I'm blending this all over. And like I said, I went ahead and I took it up to the face area. And then I grabbed my, um, my pencil here, my brown eyeliner, and I wanted to sketch out the, the shape that I was going for, the design for this costume so that it would make sense when all was said and done. You know, I, I didn't do it exactly the way I wanted to. <laughs> I'm kind of being a little hard on myself, but I, I was trying to create the shape 
and when you see it all finished you'll you'll know what I'm saying I wish that I had done it a little bit differently but boy I I really went for it on this one I really did so now I'm going to try and go back in after I've traced out what I was trying to trace out around my eyes and I'm trying to put the red in and then I realized that sponge isn't going to work out for me so I I go in and I grab a brush so that I can get the hard to reach areas and really just keep that definition in what I'm doing and now I'm blending it on my forehead and I didn't get it all the way up into my hairline. I wish that I could have, but I also am kind of glad that I didn't, probably for obvious reasons. <laughs> so now I'm continuing on and kind of blending this red. And once all is said and done, I come up with what it is I was trying to create. And that is, a, the story that I created was basically, you know, Sunburnt Betty, I think is what I called it. So Sunburnt Betty, who, you know, goes out with the girls and parties and all that jazz and falls asleep by the pool, wakes up with a horrible freaking sunburn. And I honestly, I wish once it was all finished, I had the glasses. There was a couple things that I'd forgotten that I wish I'd had put in the costume. It is a freaking hilarious costume. And I, when I went to pull the part of my shirt aside, there was one part that was still red, like I'd gotten all underneath her. It's supposed to look white, so that obviously, so I look horribly sunburned, but thankfully the other side worked out, so I was able to show the illusion of what I was trying to do. But can I just say that even though it's a funny costume and I really went all the way to try and make it happen, it was so difficult to wash off. I was finding red uh, all over the place. It was on... Um, I used an oil to try and get it off my body and it's it was all over the bathroom it was all over the uh <laughs> it was all over my shower i would not recommend this costume i don't recommend anyone try and be sweaty betty because it was really really hard to wash off first time i got out of the shower i still had red all over here there you know i don't have like a mirror or whatever in my shower i'm just kind of like oh yeah i'm sure i got it all off had to get back in and walk then I come, came out and I found that I still had, I had to go back in. It took several tries to wash this costume off. I ruined some clothing, which, you know, I wasn't using anything expensive. It's not like I, you know, had anything like that on, nothing fancy, but still it's, uh, it is incredibly messy. It's really hard to wash off your body. It gets everywhere. It's all over everything. And, <laughs> and if you're going to want to be a, a sweaty Betty or whatever I, I call this character, you're going to need help to like get the parts of your body that you can't reach. So if it's just you, like I'm trying to do it on my own, it's really hard to get the, the full illusion and you're going to want to powder down because it transfers onto everything. So looking back on it now, I probably should have gone with something else, but I don't entirely regret it, to be honest, because I really did have fun doing this whole deal and creating this look. It's freaking hilarious. I mean, it really does go with like the, if you want to be funny, you know, definitely be funny, but I wish that I had, and let's put the picture up here. And I'll also show you the picture that had inspired me. I wish I'd had the glasses and that I'd done a little bit of gloss or something like that on my lips. I was trying to do something to make them look chapped and it didn't turn out right. It just kind of all blended in, but, <laughs> and my hands too. <laughs> it was just all over everything. But I, I all in all, honestly, I, I did good and I had fun and it, you can see kind of the illusion that I was going for. And if you want to talk about, you know, dedication to trying to do a funny costume, I was certainly dedicated, so I gotta give myself props for that because I, I really did give it my absolute best try. And I, I, yeah, I can give myself a pat on the back for that one. I mean, it all worked out for that, but <laughs> it was really an experience that I don't think that I wanna experience again, if I'm being honest, because it's a lot more of a hassle than, than I thought it was gonna be. And you know, I, I wasn't using like body paints or anything like that. I'm sure if I had maybe the right stuff, it would have worked better, but I used what I had. And so it, it was a bit of a mess. Would not recommend it. Don't be a sweaty sunburnt Betty, you know, do, do something else that's um, easier to clean up. So, so anyway, guys, that is my funny costume and that's going to do it for me today. I just want to thank you so much for sticking around and watching. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. And, um, yeah, I look forward to having a laugh with you guys about it. So anyway, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you all are safe. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're happy. And as always, I hope you all have a beautiful day. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.